So let's take a look at a second possible solo. This is um, going to be on your second page now. This is your, um, uh, what I'm going to be doing here in the, the first line is I'm going to be playing a, an alternate way of playing an E chord. I'm taking my first finger and I'm barring it across the first four strings at the ninth fret. Then I'm using my pinky to come out here and grab the high E note on the uh, first string at the twelfth fret. So I have all of these notes going on and I'm also going to be going down to my tenth fret to grab the seventh. Here's the E7. And I'm going to be pulling off between these. So I'm going to play that whole first line, and then we'll talk about it. So listen to that again. that same boop bop boop da da boop bop the same rhythmic um, syncopation that Nance was applying earlier. So we start out with the keeping that steady bass going. First beat, the next beat I come down and I grab the first two strings and the sixth string. In the next beat I bring my in between, okay so right after that I'm gonna bring my first finger my second finger down to that first string 10th fret. And I'm going to play that note just like that and then set my pinky up on the upbeat. So it's so we have this now I'm going to pull my pinky off and as I pull it off my thumb's going to come down on the string. So it's Right after that, my index finger is going to hit the second string. Now in the second measure, I put my pinky back down again. Listen to that measure again. Now I'm going to put my pinky back down onto the 12th fret. I'm going to still keep my second finger here because I'm going to use that in this next measure as well. Here's the second measure. And now I'm adding in that third string. So I start off with the pinky, index, then I pick up the pinky and put it back down again. Now I'm going to repeat that first measure. next measure is going to be just a little variation. So I'm going to, at now, I'm going to go back down to the A chord, and at this point I'm going to take this, I'm going to move the same shape back down here. Um, I don't have to necessarily put my second finger down right now, because the first measure uh, is going to be, uh, what you call it, uh, basically using an A. And uh, let's take care of that, that line. So now we're on the second line in the second page. And it's going to sound like this. Now I'm going to go to my second finger. So I'm getting an A7. And now in this next move, I'm back to an E chord. I'm going to come up here, and I'm not really going to play a whole E chord as much as I'm going to play a lick that you can play using the minor pentatonic scale uh, and very similar to what Mance would have used. So, so I have this bass, first string, third fret, then open, in between note, I'm hitting the D note, and as I pull off, I hit the second string, I hit the sixth string. So I have Now I finally, there's my last measure.
now in our last line, I'm going to be talking about the last, uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about the last line using the B7 and then back to a recurring lick uh, in the, uh, against the E.